stop wasting precious time when you're creating your videos. I'm going to talk today about 10 huge mistakes to avoid while making your videos for YouTube. Join in. This editing system, it's really helpful, especially to those over 40 and beginners. So you won't want to miss this. This system will help you edit your videos so people will watch your videos longer. You'll need that. You'll need the watch hours to get monetized on YouTube. So let's get to it. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Bobby Raffin with the Hopepreneurs, and I'm actually working on getting monetized right now. I'm doing a lot of research and sharing it with you as I learn and grow, hopefully helping you learn and grow as well. So first, the editing rules. Editing rule one. Make sure you're in a quiet place where you don't have distractions. Uh, you want a quiet room where you can really concentrate and you can focus. I also actually set my phone on do not disturb while I'm editing. <laughs> my husband hates that, but I need to because it's so easy to get distracted and start doing other things. We want this process to go really quick. So get in a quiet room where you're not going to be interrupted. Editing rule number two, stop rewatching your video. Yes, rewatching it is a good idea to make sure you haven't missed anything, but you don't want to rewatch it every time you make an edit like, oh, because I used to do this. I used to make edits and then think, oh, I better watch it from the start to make sure. No, just go right through it. It's like it's like writing a rough draft. You're just going to go right through the video, then go back and watch it. Be focused and edit it all the way through first. Then you can go back, watch your videos without distraction to make sure you haven't missed anything that you need to cut or fix on it. Editing rule number three, don't add music. I know adding music is fun and uh, those who of us who like to do like shorts or reels or um, play on TikTok, songs can be really fun. But leave it to the reels, leave it to the shorts on Facebook and Instagram, leave it to the shorts on TikTok. It's also a lot of work. Because you're you're doing your your video, then you're you're taking time to add this music in. You want to make sure that you, that your voice can be heard over the song. You want to make sure it's in the right place. So, so there's all this time that you're taking to add the song or the music, uh, edit it. Wow! If you skip that, you're going to save yourself a ton of time. It takes a lot of time to do that. Take it to the curb. Editing rule number four, edit on your laptop or computer. I know it's, it's kind of fun and maybe convenient to try to edit on your, your phone, but it's it's hard to see everything on your phone sometimes, especially us older generation, right? The older we get, the harder it is to see things, at least it is for me. But it will save you a lot of time if you do it directly on your computer or your laptop. So if you do it on your laptop or computer, you'll even be able to use your keyboard, maybe um, a mouse. Um, it will make it a lot easier than just trying to use your fingers or one of the the pen pencil things that they have for for editing on iPhones you'll be able to see a lot better it will save your fingers those of us over 40 50 I like I'm almost 60 it can save your fingers my fingers hurt if I'm trying to like do uh, delicate little editing projects on my phone it's ridiculous so Get rid of the, the iPhone for editing and start doing it on your laptop. Editing rule number five, stop being perfect. Stop going for perfection. Go for complete. Go for done. Go for finished. Yes, you can try to be the best that you possibly can. There's nothing wrong with that. But perfection will stop you in your tracks. It will never be good enough. Mine will never be good enough for me. Like, just as I'm saying that, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, they're probably thinking a ton of things that's wrong with this. You're never going to please everybody either. Stop going for perfection. Done is way better than perfect. Wanting things perfect will stop you in your tracks. I have an issue with both perfectionism, perfectionism <laughs> and procrastination. And procrastination is a form of perfectionism. 
It actually is. Nothing will ever be perfect and that's okay. It's okay. Just have fun and get her done. All righty. <laughs> Editing rule number six. Edit out what's not necessary. Sometimes we add some cute things. Sometimes we want to uh, put a screenshot in, but then when we're seeing it, it really doesn't fit or it's not necessary. It's going to distract your audience and it could push your audience away, okay? So you may have something in your video that's really cute and you think it's funny. I do this too, believe me. Uh, <laughs> but I found that it isn't always received by your audience as you've intended. It can pull the viewer's uh, view or their, their uh, focus away from your topic and they may just click away. They, they could get bored and click away. Where you think it's, it's hilarious, they'll get bored and go. We need to think of our viewers every time we're making a video. What do your viewers want to see? What do they want to learn? What do they want to hear? So this may not be the perfect time saver in editing, but it's still very essential in your editing process. All righty. Editing tip number Seven, this is so important. I actually have to remind myself about this and I forget this all the time. And it's it's so helpful. Label each clip. If you're making a few videos on your phone to maybe put into a segment of a video uh, to, to create an entire video, Label your clips so you know the order so it won't be time consuming trying to figure it out. It's like, oh, wh where does this one go? What's this one for? It could get really confusing when you're doing a lot of recording. That could that could be horrible. So label each clip with the date on the topic of your video that you're going to be titling for the main video and then the number that it's to be placed in the video. If you're using your phone to film or record your video, you can do this in separate clips. So label the clips so you know what each clip is for and you won't get lost in the process and clips won't be overlooked. Labeling them will, will help you. It will save time in the long run. Editing rule number eight. <laughs> download all A-roll clips first, okay? The A-roll clips are of you talking. Get all of your A-roll clips in order first and again, label them. Editing tip number nine, download all B-roll clips. Now the B-roll clips are anything that you are showing your audience, such as sharing your screen, um, adding an image, uh, adding maybe uh, another video clip to your video. So download all of those next and make sure that you have them all labeled for easy reference and a quick find. Editing tip number 10, add headers and titles to your videos and to your clips. You want to do this so people will also not only hear what you're saying, but they'll be able to read it. It grabs their attention. It grabs their eyes. They focus on what you're writing, the header, the title, for the, the subtopic that you're talking about in your video. It's a great idea. So go ahead and add those headers, those titles and captions to the screen that you want your viewers to see at the points you want to see them and you will retain your viewers' attention. And before you go, I just wanted to let you know that I've, I've written an ebook and I'll be creating a course that goes right along with the ebook and that the ebook and the course will be added to my membership mastery for online business. And I was thinking, I really wanted to be able to give my audience something as a gift because you guys are being so kind to me, subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And so I created a little giveaway for you if you would like it. It's the three-step method for online business success 
even after 40 with face-based principles. It's create, connect, and convert. This free resource will actually walk you through the three essential steps that you need that is vital to creating a successful online business through the create, connect, convert method. I have been working online since 1999. And during that time, I've worked with some pretty well-known names in the online business world. For example, Stu McLaren and Tracy Childers and Micah Mitchell. And what I have learned over the years are there are three essential components that you need that a lot of the online or marketing leaders don't talk about. They don't tell you what it is that you need to actually build a real, legitimate, successful online business. But I know this, and I've worked online in companies that have helped other people grow their businesses. Well, now I've decided that it's time for me to help other people on my own instead of working for a company doing it. I've got the experience. I've got over a decade of experience helping others grow courses, grow memberships, grow their business online. And so I want to help you do the same thing. It's a very specific method, and I'm sharing it with you in the freebie. So whether you're just starting out or you're ready to take your business to the next level, these strategies will help you grow your audience, build trust, and turn followers into loyal customers. And that's what we're needing if we're wanting an online business. If it's not making money, it's just a hobby, which it can be fun. But we're needing to build an income, right? All righty. So anyway, if this has helped you in any way, please do subscribe to my channel and like this video and be sure to comment below and let me know what you what you think, if you've liked it, what's helped you. And let me know if you want to get on that uh, waiting list for the ebook. It's free. I just want to give you a gift, my my little thank you. So have a wonderful day.